uh, you, uh, you were a U.S. citizen until recently when you were, you, you were stripped of your citizenship. I'm still a citizen. The state is. Okay. The department claims I'm not. It's in the courts. Anyway, what I would like to question really is what, what your loyalty. Is your loyalty to the United States of America or is it to Israel? And why, and you are actually in a sense uh, helping people who would uh, discredit uh, Jews who, res who have a responsible position in the U.S. government, like in the intelligence community or even in the State Department, whether they are loyal to Israel or to the United States, after you see what happened with Jonathan Pollard and others. What is your comment on that? I, I, didn't, I didn't know that John, that John Walker, who's Jewish. I know, I know, I know. This kind of a selective choosing of Pollard, one, one Jew, the fact of the matter is that there were many, many traitors in many, many countries. A traitor is a traitor, not because he's a Jew, but because he's a traitor. And don't try to play games with me. This country allows. The concept of a dual citizen. This country allows it. Many, many countries do. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. One thing we're going to get clear. After you've asked the question, then you're silent. And then, then I speak. After I finish, you can ask a second question. All right? Those are the ground rules when I speak. Now, this country allows a person to be a dual citizen, not of Israel and America, but of any country in America. And there are six million such people in this, in this country. So stop playing games with, with me. Are you more loyal to this? Ask, ask Poles, people who are Polish citizens and U.S. citizens, are they loyal to, to Poland or, or this country, to Italy or this country, to Spain or this country? That's an, it's an, an outrageous question. I am, I am a loyal citizen of both countries, being allowed to be so by the U.S. government. Yes. I thought 